Hope Soka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at Test 8, Section 4, Number 17. Before you go reading the question, you want to understand what's going on in the table. So up top we read the ages of 20 students enrolled in a college class. And then we look, what's 18 and frequency 6 mean? It actually means that 6 students are 18 years old. What does 22 frequency 1 mean? One student is 22 years old. In other words, usually when you're finding the median especially, what you do is you list out all the um, ages or all the numbers, whatever they may be, and you cross out left, right, left, right, left, right till you get to the middle. So to understand this, what it is is you've got 6 18. So it would be 18, 18, 18, 6 times, and then you'd have 5 19s and 4 20s, 2 21s, a 22, a 23, and a 30. So, keeping that in mind, we're going to read this question. The table above shows the distribution of the ages of 20 students enrolled in a college class, which the following gives the correct order of the mean, median, and mode of the ages. The easiest thing to find, I think, is the mode. The mode is the most common number. Now, sometimes students will be like, oh, the mode is 1. The mode is not 1. It's actually, it's not measuring the frequency, it's measuring the ages of people and the frequency is how many people are those ages. So the mode is actually 18. Why? Because there, when it says frequency six, literally it's telling you that there are six 18s. Six students are 18 years old. And that's the youngest you could get in this chart. So the mode must be the smallest. So I could eliminate C and D. Next thing, finding the median. Now if there's 20 students, Who's the median student going to be? Well, 20 divided by 2 is 10. And it's actually when you're finding the median number student, and I'll tell you what I mean by that, um, you'd actually divide by 2 and then add a half. So if there's an even number of students, there is actually no middle. Um, so if we divide it by 2, we get 10 and add a half. 10 and a half, that's right between the 10th and 11th student. And then you'd have 10 students to the left, 10 students to the right. So if we find the 10th student, then we've got our median. So six students are 18 years old, five students are 19 years old. There, 11 students are represented already. So I'm gonna label this, this we said is the mode. So the 11th, the 10th and 11th student are gonna be 19 years old. We could say that this is the median. And so it looks like it's gonna be mode, then median, then mean. So I'm going to go ahead and circle A, assuming that the mean is not between 18 and 19. And now if I think logically of the mean, if you notice now, the 10th and 11th student are 19. Um, 10th and 11th student are 19 years old. So we know that this is weighted towards the younger students, but there are also, there's a student who's 20, 21, 22, 23, and this student who's 30, went back to college, that we would call that an outlier. That's gonna pull the mean older. So we could expect the mean to be older than 18 or 19. It's really not necessary to solve exactly what the mean is here. If you did, what you would do is 18 times six plus 19 times five plus 20 times four plus 21 times two plus 22 plus 23 plus 30, and then divide it by 20 because there are 20 total students. Now, you could do this whole thing with your calculator. So what I'll do is I'm going to write the steps on how you can do this with your calculator. I'm going to throw my glasses on because I'm blind now. And what you would do is you'd hit on your calculator. I'm going to write the steps down here. You'd hit stat. There's a stat button there. And then you would... You'll see number one, it'll say edit. And you just hit enter to choose that number one edit. And then all I'm gonna do is under L1, I'm gonna populate my ages. So I put 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 30. Okay. And then under L2, I put what corresponds. So what corresponds with the 18? Six, so my six should be right next to the 18 and then a five, and then a four, and then a two, and then a one, and then a one, and then a one. Okay, so now my table is populated. 
the same way that this table here is populated. So now what I'm gonna do is, uh, so I'll, I'll leave your, your note over here, populate values. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit vars. And then I'm gonna go to the right. Whoops, I'm sorry. I'm gonna hit stat again. Eh. I hit stat again, not bars. And then I go to the right. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose one, which is one var stats. And I hit enter. And then under list, it automatically has populated L1. Now, if you haven't done this before in your calculator, then it's not gonna have anything populated for the second thing, which is frequency list, F-R-E-Q-L-I-S-T. So what you wanna do is go down one, and under frequency list, you're going to have to make your calculator accept L2 as your frequency list. So for that, you're gonna hit second, and you're gonna hit the number two, because in blue, the second button is blue, in blue above the number two, you see there's an L2. So you populate that with L2. I'm not gonna write that down because you only have to do that once and then it'll be there forever. And what I do is I go down to calculate it and then I hit enter. So I'm gonna write down calculate enter. And then what you see is you're gonna see a line with an X above it, that is the mean. And you can see that the mean is 20. So it is as predicted, it's bigger than the median and the mode. And then what it will, it also tells you some stuff about standard deviation and sums. So I don't want you to worry about that stuff to, so much. It tells you also quartile. So the first quartile is to 18. Um, that stuff's helpful if you have a box plot. And then it tells you that the median is 19, exactly as we said. So we know the order and the mode, you'd have to look at it and see because it doesn't have the mode here. But it will also tell you the max and the min. And the range, if it were asking for range, you would literally do the max minus the min to get the range. And that's how you do it with your calculator. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with these frequency lists. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day, everybody.